All right, folks, listen, we finna get right into this video right here. Today, we getting ready to make a, check this out. This is just an orange chicken, super simple to make. And guess what, folks? We doing it in the crock pot. Now I'm finna go right into this. If you guys look over here, you guys see some ingredients. As always, the full ingredient list is on my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com, right? So we got that taken care of. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead. Look, I'm gonna take my chicken. Let me make some room here. All right, so went ahead, got my cutting board, right? What you want to do is you just want to cut these into like one inch pieces. You know what I mean? However you want to do it. I like to cut them all kind of different ways. I don't want them to always be the same, you know, look the same, right? But on this particular one, I'm cutting it down like that. That's about one inch. You see that right there? And this right here. It might have a little fat. Oh, one of the things I wanted to tell you is, if you look at this, this is like a chicken tender. You know what I mean? Normally I use breast, but I said today, we finna go ahead and just do, you know, the chicken tender, right? Now I've already cleaned my chicken, you know, after I removed it out of the bag. I'm not finna bore you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this down. You know what I mean? This is really, really a, a I'm gonna say this. If you like Chinese or, or any type of Asian takeout, this right here will save you, because it's fast, right? Easy to make, and you probably have these ingredients in your you probably have these in your, you know, your pantry or in your cupboard, right? So we just cut them down like this. And I'll see you guys in just a minute. Now listen, I don't know if I said this earlier, but if you like Chinese, Asian, or any of that, you know, from that region of the world, you like it in the takeout, this right here, I promise you, is gonna get you right. Now, look, you wanna get yourself a bowl big enough. This is about two pounds. Actually, this was 2.3 pounds, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this in here like that. All right, set this over here. And don't forget, you guys, I haven't been saying it lately in my videos, you always got to keep yourself some, you know, some hot, soapy water so you can wash your dishes as you go. Now, don't forget, that's got the chicken on it. That's why I use a separate board. We're going to clean that and get that dry. We always use hot water, right? So now, I'm going to take some cornstarch and just hit it just like that. Make sure we get it all out. Make sure it's not packed no more. I'm gonna get in here with this glove and I'm just gonna move this around and make sure we get it all coated. Okay, folks. So listen, now we're finna go into this phase. Are we gonna brown our chicken just a little bit, right? So I'm gonna pick this pan up so you guys can see the flame that I'm using. I hope you guys can see that, right? Just a medium flame, a little heat, extra virgin. This is infused with garlic made by Branch and Vine, right? I just wanna put myself in here, maybe about four tablespoons. You know what I mean? Because we just want to brown, brown. Now, as the title had already suggested to you guys that I'll be doing everything in the crock pot, that right there is right. You know what I mean? Uh, listen, it's still summertime. You don't have to worry about heating up your house, your oven, cooking really over the stove, except for this little browning. This right here is going to be your workhorse. All right, once your oil is hot enough, we just want to go ahead and start adding your chicken to it. Now, two pounds, I told you this is 2.3. You know what I mean? After you cut it down, it depends on how big your pan is. You got a pan big enough to do it, you can do it. You know, do all of it at one time. But for me, I'm gonna batch this. I'm gonna get probably half in now, half in in just a minute. Okay, so look, as you guys can see, I put a splatter guard on there. I do have a lid for that, but I wanted to let that the air out of that. I just want to let the, you know, all of the steam escape. And I just want to keep the oil in the inside so I don't have to clean up so much. So remember, we said we just want to brown. This right here is good. You see this right here? So I'm gonna take these. We're not trying to cook it. No need to temp it. It's gonna cook inside of the uh, inside of our you know slow cooker, crock pot, whatever you guys wanna you know call it. They all the same. All right. So now check this part out. Listen, we're gonna be using some. Listen, this is the sweet orange marmalade. But this is like the key. It's just having marmalade. You know, orange, orange flavor. What we wanna do is put it in about a cup and a half. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe just a little bit more. You guys measure it out. I'll decide if I need to add some more, you know, to it when I'm done. Now, once you have measured out all of your ingredients before you started working, right? I just want to show you this. We're just going to go ahead and add everything that we have left over into it, right? Now, I'm going to show this right here because I think that we should all have some of the basic, you know, Asian, you know, uh, spices and seasonings. This way, when we make things, we got it already at it, you know, at the ready. Yep, that's about all we need right there. Then when it comes to the sesame seed, we're going to add a little bit in this too. 
You want to save a little bit back? You know, this way you can uh, do a little bit of the garnish. Now we got fresh ginger, and then right here you'll see I got garlic. I mean, we got fresh uh, garlic, and then we got garlic powder. The garlic powder is just my little level up, just to make sure that I get that garlicky taste, because that's what I be looking for, right? I don't put much in there, but I'll just start with that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze these. So when I say squeeze, this is what I mean. You know what I mean? Uh, we gonna mince. Put this in here like that. And I want you guys to pay attention to this. Look at this. Look at when you use this tight right here. Oh man, you get it all. Now we'll check to see how these are browning. Ah, these are browning just good enough. I don't wanna make fried chicken, you know? But look at that right there. Okay, so I just put them in like this, just so that I don't put no oil in the inside, right? But you can see it, any crumbs that go with it, that's fine. Any of the crust, that's what I should be seeing. You know what I mean, that's okay. I promise you, you're gonna wanna put all of that on there. But let me just show you what it looks like in the inside. You know what I mean, nice and brown. Now we come back over here to, you know, our mix. This right here is what's gonna do it for us, folks. Get yourself a whisk, and this is gonna be our orange chicken. You know, this is our flavor. You can see, it can actually take a little bit more, but I look for a certain consistency, you know? So, go ahead and hit it like this. And you guys make the adjustments on your own, on your side. I'm giving you the basics, you know what I mean? So you can achieve what you wanna achieve. And then once we have this completely mixed, look at that right there. Right? Oh, it smells incredible. All right, so looking down in there, you see what you, you guys could, should be able to see that, right? Now you just take your, your orange chicken sauce and you just pour this right over the top, just like you see. All right? Now I went ahead, you guys saw that I don't have to whisk no more. Why? Because I want to get all of this incredible sauce in the inside. All right? So we're going to scrape the sides and get it all. I promise you, when it's all over and done with, you're going to be saying, dang, I wish I'd have doubled up on this. Now, I just get in here like this and make sure it's all coated, right? It look like orange chicken right now, but we not done. We finna put three hours on it, folks. Three hours on low. That's what y'all been waiting to hear. So there it is. Um, let me set this up, you know, get this going, and then it's gonna thicken up. Now, I told you three hours in an hour and a half. I don't. I tell everybody, don't take the lid off anytime you're using the crock pot. But we gonna take it off because we got to go in here and stir it, make sure nothing is burning or nothing, you know, nothing like that, right? Then we gonna go for the remainder. Now, let me set my timer. Don't forget, one hour and a half, we check. The next hour and a half, we eat. Okay, folks, listen, I set a separate timer, you know, so I can see what, you know, be alerted when it was an hour and a half, right? This is the way it looked. I know it doesn't have all that steam in there like every other thing that we put into the crock pot, but I have not lifted it at all. Now I'll just go ahead and let that go. You know what I mean? Uh, broke it away from myself, and now I'm getting ready to give it a stir, right? Look at this right here. Now, the reason it was so light with the heat and everything, we had already coated it, it just kind of like settles down. But now we just gonna bring this around like this. But you see how it's coming together. You know, we cheated a little bit having that marmalade, right? But look at this here. Mm-hmm, orange chicken. Now, after you get it all coated again, you know, stirred, mixed, you know, properly, right? Now I'm gonna put the lid back on. And we're gonna let it continue cooking. And I'll see you guys at the end of the last hour and a half. Okay, folks, the last hour and a half went, so we had a total of three hours. Go ahead and let this out. Grab my spatula. Now let's start. Ooh, look at that right there. You see that? That's what you want to see. Now you can serve this on top of rice, however you would like. I can just tell you, it smells like whatever you would get as far as uh, when you eat down at one of those Asian restaurants, right? So, mm -hmm. so now I'm gonna take, remember I said you want to have some extra sesame seeds, right? So now we just add these right on top. I'm gonna take a few pictures of it and then we're gonna plate it and taste it. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just put some of these inside of a bowl. 
then you can have your guests or your family, however you have, you know, whoever you have over there, or it may be yourself. You know what I mean? We're just going to fill this up. And then all you got to do is make yourself some rice. You can put these over rice. You know what I mean? Uh, you do it however you would like to do it. But I love this presentation, putting this out for those who are eating. Right? Now for the best part. Cheers, y'all. Mm. These right here. <laughs> These fire folks. Now this right here is fire, folks. Trust me, listen, this is about as close as you get to like, just like the regular takeout that you guys get, that sweetness, you know what I mean? It's got that sweet and savory taste to it. The chicken, by the way, came out perfect. Don't forget, I use tenders. You guys use whatever you would like. You know what I mean? Normally, I do it uh, with the breast. They still come out nice, soft, juicy, and taste really, really good. The only thing I would do is pair it with some rice. You can either go white rice, or you know what? You can go, uh, you know, fried rice. Either way, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about this. And remember, we didn't have to eat of our house. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out here there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking and guess what folks i'm not finna eat that whole thing i'm finna get me a little small plate make me some rice and you know enjoy guess what i'm out peace